ABC, it's Ron. Thanks for joining me. I'm back with that video that I promised yesterday. And I got some cool VCLT from Randy, Dead Wax 66, so I'm going to show that. And uh, also, uh, yesterday I kind of promised that I was going to show some recent finds. I lied. Uh, I'm not going to show them. Um, I got a few things, but you know what? I think I'm just going to keep them aside and show them when I get a good pile of recent finds. So what I'm going to do after I do my VCLT presentation, I'm going to show some more blacklight vinyl. So I found some more pieces and uh, I'm going to do that. And uh, so I am going to show the VCLT that Randy sent me. He sent me a few singles and he sent me an album. And the album he sent me was the, uh, a brand new reissue uh, of the Ramones. This is their first album. And I did not have this. And a uh, very cool album. I like this a lot. Um, I like it more than I thought I was going to like it. Um, I've always liked the Ramones, but I never loved them. And maybe that's just because I've never gotten into them that much. But yeah, very cool. And I very much appreciate this, Randy. It's on the original Sire label, and it's, it was repressed by Rhino Records. So, yeah, this was really good. Okay, then I got, I used to have this record uh, back in the 90s. It's uh, Split, Blowing Smoke. And it was originally released in 1977. And they had like a whole pile of these things laying around, so... The leader of the band issued them with a brand new picture slave and he autographed the front of it and hand numbered the back of it. I got number 266 of 500 copies. Um, I liked this record and I had not heard it in a long time. I liked it but I just thought the mix was so weird that it ruined the record. It's garage fuzz and the vocals sound like Frank Zappa but the vocals are mixed too loud in my opinion and I think it just ruined the recording but it's still cool and uh, it's got an instrumental on the uh, on the B side so the name of the A side is Blowing Smoke so yeah it's a it's an original 1977 record with a brand new picture sleeve and uh, this is a weird Switzerland uh, band uh, Dodo Minstrels and this is kind of, uh, it came out in 1970 during the hippie folk movement. It's kind of an oddball, weird record. The, instrum the instrumental on the B side is pretty cool. The A side, eh, it's okay. But it, it comes in a really cool gatefold picture sleeve. And I, I guess this thing's original. It looks original to me. It's got a glossy cover. And it's on Panda Records. Now there was a Panda Records in the 80s. I don't know. This is probably not affiliated with that label. I think this is probably a Swiss label. So Randy, thanks for this too. Um, I'm sure you know as well as I do. It's nothing great. But I'm sure it's uh, probably not that common. And this was really cool. I'm so glad he sent me this. It's Eddie Detroit meets the Sun City Girls. And these are vintage 1980s recordings from a few different sessions of uh, Eddie Detroit with the Sun City Girls performing live. And uh, really cool. It looks like it came out in 2011. And uh, it's all instrumental. Uh, really, really cool. In fact, I'm going to be playing this when I do my black light uh, video. So this will be playing in the background. And then he sent me um, the doorknobs, a 1965 garage record that originally came out here in Phoenix. And I have an original one of this, but uh, he sent me a German reissue, which is cool to add to my collection. I did not have one of these. So much thanks on this. And 
And the last uh, record to show is The Omens, and it's uh, Searching, which is killer uh, garage fuzz, and this was originally released uh, out of Chicago. It's on the Cody label. Uh, really, really cool. And Randy says this one was pressed in Germany as well as a reissue. So totally cool. Love that. So Randy, thanks a lot for those. And uh, before we get to my black light video, I got a few black light posters to show. So let me dim the lights and I'll show those. When I was a kid, about I, I remember this distinctly because I changed bedrooms. I went and I moved into my parents' old bedroom, and that was in 1971. And I distinctly remember shortly after I moved in there, I bought one of these posters at Woolco Department Store, and it was a dollar fifty. And uh, my original blacklight poster is long gone, but one day I was in an antique mall. And I actually came across a copy of the poster I had when I was a kid in 1971. And so, man, I was just thrilled. So I grabbed that sucker. So this is, this is what it is. And it's dated down at the bottom, 1968. And uh, the title of the poster is Star Mandala. So very, very cool. So that's that's the poster I had in my room when I was a kid. And this one, this is a 19, probably a 68, 69 John and Yoko poster. So that's pretty cool. And the name of this poster is Innocence is invulnerable. Okay, that's my two posters that I wanted to show. And now we're going to get going on the blacklight vinyl. Thank you. 